only see some stars. I see lots of check marks and I do see a couple question marks. So the time that we're doing this, this time right now, this is all about clarification. In my room, there is a certain expectation that we have to hold when we write in this class. Not only do we follow a process, which you followed for five years already, you have actual management pieces that go along with each of these pieces, process, pieces of process, but you need to know how to do each one, okay? So our job now is just to clarify if you are right, and then I need you to do me a favor. Don't get upset if I line out an idea. When I line out an idea, I need you to know that that's not what that is, okay? If I circle it, I agree with you. And then what happens is I take all of these ideas and I make the wheel. So let's start. I'm just so proud of all of you. This is amazing. So planning. Plan your writing. So that means planning, but I'm going to circle the word brainstorm. That's where that brain is thinking about what? What you're going to write about. What you're going to write about. It's quick. I agree with that group. They said it's quick. Planning should not take three days. <laughs> Shouldn't even take two days, okay? Planning should be quick and efficient, all right? Can you always return to your plan? Yes. And add to your plan? Yes. Yes. I like that you don't care about spelling. It's planning. We're not going to worry about spelling, okay? You're... You're planning. Um, find things that relate to the topic. Uh, okay. I'll take things that relate to a topic. Don't write big sentences, only small ideas. What does that mean? Don't write big sentences, only small ideas. What does that mean? What does that mean? You don't have to add that much to like sentences. Oh. When you're revising or editing, you can add some more stuff to it. Oh, but think about planning, though. Think about planning. So I'm planning. I don't need to write... Well, I want to tell you about the dogs I'm going to write about. I might do dogs, and then maybe one or two words that describe the dogs, right? So I agree with not writing big sentences. A beginning, middle, and an end. end. If for drafting you said skip lines, that is the biggest thing. We talked about that yesterday when you were in your draft book, right? So skipping lines is huge. Um, nicely done. You write paragraphs. You know what? You're fifth graders. Yes, you are going to be putting your writing into paragraphs. Um, yeah, you check it. So what does checking it mean in drafting? What does it look like when you check your, your writing and drafting? You're revising and editing. Uh, oh, what was the key you just said? Mistake. No. If you see it quickly. What, mean, what you mean is... If I'm rereading my work, just like you guys were doing on those assessments, if you're rereading your work and you notice that you came across a sentence and it didn't make sense, you went in and added a word or two, that's the quick check. Oh, I like try your best on spelling. Does it have to be perfect? No. 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 Are you focusing on a topic? Yes. 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 Yeah. Or are, are you focusing on a story? Um, no run on sentences. Okay, we'll work on that. We take our time. We work carefully. I like it. We're getting ideas down. Wow. Oh, look at that. I'm going to start that one. Use your plan. You're using your plan. Who's ever spent so much time on a plan and then never looked at it again? Conferencing. First thing I saw. Talking. All right. We're not talking with the whole group, though. All right, so I'm going to say, I'm going to circle this. I'm going to circle listening to each other because that's a, that's a clue. Um, you are going to share your ideas. Um, you can help each other. You're not compromising anything. Not yet. Think about ideas of other people. Eh, okay. Make sure writing makes sense. Meaning, what does that mean? Who wrote that? Who was blue? Okay, so Eric, what do you mean by that? Uh, that it doesn't have, like, you check it, but then once you check it, it does it, it, like, you can read it. So is your... Like, if you don't, like, if you read it, and it has, like, and then you don't know what a word is, mm -hmm. then that's what it means. All right, so here's what you're going to do. Conferencing in this room is one-on-one. -on -one. You will work with one 
person. One other person, okay? I like the tag, so I'm circling it because it might work for us, all right? Um, and you are reading out loud, and you are sharing, and you are asking for help if you need it. And we're going to go over that, okay? Because why would I send you all the way back to conferencing if your writing doesn't make sense? What happened during your conference, Danye? People weren't helping you fix it. You're not getting support. You're not working together. So what, Danye, I'm going to use you, okay? So let's say Danye and Roxar were conferencing. <laughs> so let's say Danye comes to me and says, I'm ready to publish. And I open her draft book, and I'm struggling to read it. Who gets in trouble with me? <laughs> She's looking at Roxar. She's putting her hand up. She knows. Why is Roxar on the chopping block? What happened? Because I didn't help her. You didn't help her. So she had no idea what to fix. So I'm going to be like, <clears throat> Roxar, come on up. And then Roxar and I have to a talk. So the idea is this is where you get sent back, and then you have to get another partner. Right, Eric? Let's go to revising. Somebody just tell me. What do you think revising is? I see a lot. I see a lot on here. <laughs> So tell me what you think it is, Alex. App advocate. What, what is revising? Like, um, I'm not editing the like, picture. Like, the spelling, I think. Um, but revising is, uh, can I think? You can think. You want to phone a friend? Yeah. Phone a friend. What's revising? Revising is like you're checking on your spellings if you spell it right. So you can check your work so like your teachers and your audience can know what you're writing about. If you if you write something that, that doesn't make it that, that doesn't make sense. Stop right there. So Rockstar, revising is not spelling. Is not capitals. It is all about what was the last thing you said? Making Sense. So, Roxar, this is the goal of revising. If I write, I has a friend, my writing doesn't make sense. I have to revise that to where it makes sense. I have a friend. A lot of time your subject and verb agreements will come in play here, whether they agree or not. Um, your tenses, past, present, future, sometimes kids, especially in fifth grade, will mess up the tenses. You're writing in present, but then you might have something with the past. And unless it's part of your story, it doesn't work. That's revising. I model that. So what's editing? I see cuts. Capitals, punctuation, spelling. So you would add new words, such as vocabulary, to make it better, things like that, okay? So now you guys knew that ready to publish, RTP means, RTP means ready to publish. Um, it's not about having nice handwriting. It's not publishing, actually. This is where you meet with me. If you do well, where do you go? You get to publish your piece. If you don't do well, where do you go? So when you see the wheel tomorrow, you're going to see all the arrows, okay? Because can you go from planning to drafting? No. Yes. You go planning, oh, yeah. drafting, yes. then we conference, uh -huh. then we revise, uh -huh. we edit, RTP, uh -huh. and publish. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm drafting. Can I go back to planning? Yes. yes. Ah. So, but I'm drafting, and I'm con can I go from conferencing back to drafting? No. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. because you might actually have oh, to go yeah. back and draft yeah. while you revise. Your arrows? go everywhere. You can go back and forth through the process. A process means I am not going to be perfect. That means I'm going to go back and forth. I might even have to go back to my plan if I'm over here and Miss Hutchison says, uh. So in case you like leave something out, you can go back? Always. And like try to fit it in? Always. Yep. And you know what dra the best draft books are? Are the ones that have the most work done to them. A draft book that is written perfectly and doesn't have any work to it isn't good. So when you come to, for an example, you come to me for RTP, you have to have a book, a red pen and a blue pen, and a pencil. So there are things you have to have when you come to my table. Why do you need a book at my table? 
greedy. Right, because let's say Jordy and Maddie and Angie are sitting at my table, but I'm working with Jose. Are the three just going to sit there and hang out and do nothing? No, no they have to read their books. They're going to be reading, so they get more independent time. That's a little thing for me. You can't just come to my table and sit. 